hello in this video we are going to be discussing trend lines just the basics so for people who have watched the Elliot impulses and corrections videos then you're going to be then you understand the terms that i'll be using so for a valid trend line you need the most two recent impulses that is the most important thing about trend lines you need the most two recent impulses all right so let's say valid trend line Right. So that means an impulse and a correction. All right. So what I mean is in an Elliott wave you have um yeah, in an Elliott waves you have five waves. You have one, two, three, four, five, right? So if we're looking at this wave, then this would be our most two recent impulses right so that's where you put your trend line on those most two recent impulses because we are trying to see if price will come back and reject it to go higher or if it will break right for it to reach the high and then go where it needs to go so those that's the most important thing about trend lines there is nothing complicated to it you just need the most two recent impulses right okay so if we are looking at the chart let's say we're using the chart that we're at right now and price was this is our law right price made a new law price made a new law price made a new law right but our most recent impulses would be right here right so if those are our most recent impulses then we need to put our trend line around that area so we have to put our trend line from this area going all the way up so price rejected price rejected here right and then it rejected here before before this happened let's say price was around this area right so before this happened we only had these two impulses that's why we drew our trend line there right and then price went high and then it rejected around this area so if price rejected around this area we need to see where the i mean it broke it broke out right price broke out around this area so we need to see if price retested the high the trend line and the high all right so the most important thing is price might not actually retest the trend line let's say price broke and then it reaches for it to go high this is what people expect yes it might happen sometimes but sometimes most times actually price will break then come back to retest so if you were to keep pushing this trend line higher right let's say we keep pushing this trend line higher you can you can see right that price it made a high around this area right and then price dropped and then it came back it made another high right and then price dropped to our trend line it broke our trend line right if price broke the trend line it needs to retest then price came all the way up to retest a the height that price made in b our trend line all right so this would have been the perfect spot because we have a trend line and then we have a high that's two confirmations for you confluence works and then boom price dropped if we go to the past i mean the future we should see that price kept dropping as you can see price dropped 
richest in the drop. So if a trend line is being broken, especially at a high, price is going to retest the high. Don't mind if price does not retest immediately. Price will retest the high. It will target the high. That's the thing. Those are some of the things that people need to understand when you are drawing your trend lines. Trend line, they work best with other confirmations, other confluences. Don't just use the trend line on its own. We need other confluences. So now let's move on to another example, right? Let's use this area. Okay, let's use the area where price is at at the moment, right? So this is where price is it at the moment. Let's say we have some sort of um, trend right here. You can say right here. Yeah, right. So let's say we have some sort of a trend right there, right? So what we need, we need our most two recent impulses impulse and impulse price tried going down but it did not break the law if price does not break the law then it's not an impulse right so this is not an impulse right so these were our most two recent impulses so if those were our most two recent impulses, that means we need to put our trend line in that area so we put our trend line we always use the weeks we always use the weeks now there we go. Trend line, all right? So now, price, yes, it's cutting through these candles, right? But this was our breakout. This was our breakout, right? Retest, peak formation was formed, WM formation was formed, and price made its first impulse, right? So the reversal happened here. Well, now, this is peak formation, right? So that's a reversal being created because price made a law, right? Price rejected, made an impulse, right? Broke out of the trend line and then created our peak formation for price to go higher, right? So right there we have, right there, let's put back our trend line. Okay. Right there, we have trend line, the first confirmation, right? A law that was made, two. New law that was made, three. Peak formation, four. And if you want a candlestick confirmation, candlestick confirmation right there. Right there. And why do I say that was our candlestick confirmation? Right, let me show you. All right, so now this was our candle, candlestick confirmation because if you look, price made a low, right? If price wanted to go lower, it would have gone lower around this area. So it made a new low right here. So if that's a new low, price rejected it, right? And then we had a strong bearish candle, right? Covering all of these three candles. However, it failed to close below. It still put back up, right? And then we had the next two candlesticks, a pin bar and a doji, right? A bullish doji and then a bearish pin bar, but then the bearish pin bar did not close below our previous candle, right? As you can see right here, bullish doji pin bar did not close below our previous candle, and boom, price went higher. Quick fuel trade, all right. Peak formation, trend line was broken, peak formation was created, price made a new high, so many confirmations, all right? Let's say maybe we want to use this trend line on a bigger picture. So we have an impulse, correction, impulse, right? This is not an impulse because it rejected this law. But price came up and then it broke. 
Now this was a new law that was created. So now this is an impulse. Remember, if you watch the impulse extensions, you understand why we are saying this is an impulse, All right? So if those are our most recent two impulses, what do we need? We need our trend line, right? Let's put our trend line from the top, right? All the way. There we go. We have a trend line right there. So if we have a trend line right there, then what are we expecting? We're expecting maybe price could reject from here because we do have a zone, right? And we have a trend line and price is sort of touched the trend line, right? So maybe price could reject and then go higher or price might even give us a break to touch this resistance, right? It was some sort of a fake out, go back, close below our trend line, and then push lower to give us our next impulse. All right. Or it would simply just break out, come back for a retest, and then go higher. The same way price did here, it broke out, came back for a retest, and then went higher. All right. So understanding trend lines, you have to understand a whole lot of other things for you to trade trend lines properly. All right. So now these are just the basics. But the most important thing that you need to remember is for your trend line to be valid, you need the most recent two impulses. You use the wicks. Do not let your trend line cut two candles. All right. I hope this is helpful. And that's all for this, for the trend line basics.